Hey guys, Generation here, back at you with another one. So we are now in Ultra League, uh, just in veteran rank, and I'm using a Shadow Nidal Queen Double Dark line, guys. It works really well because you swap in your Umbreon to kind of draw out their fighter, unless you hard win the lead. So you kind of play it like any other ABB team. And what's really cool is um, another player, Ian Chang, most of you guys know, and myself kind of came up with this team in chat. And um, at the same time, another player uh, who y'all might know, Jonkis, also came up with this team. And we've both done very well with it. Um, so here's some battles. Uh, some games we win, <laughs> some we lose. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of how this team works. Also, as far as the composition of this team, guys, XL Nido Queen, XL Umbreon, of course, are a necessity. But that Obstagoon can be replaced by Scrafty if you are able to, right? Now, see, in this match here, we are able to draw out the Charmer, which is good for us. Uh, we are going to end up having to shield a Psychic, most likely, to preserve the health, just in case they are double charm. So we'll just go ahead and bring in our Poison type before they can kind of escape, <laughs> right? We don't want them to escape... Um, swap out their charmer and then have it for our other dark type in the back that would be disastrous <laughs> so we do want to get in there and farm this thing all the way down so we come out with a ton of energy here so let's see what they decide to do they have two shields they bring out their obstagoon and we're going to go ahead and launch a poison fang into it lower its defense now we are taking resisted damage from the counters from this thing which is kind of cool now, I assume they have another Charmer in the back. That's why I'm using my shield here, right? We assume that um, whenever you see an Obstagoon lead, I think we're all just programmed that, okay, it's a Charmer. But no, we have a Talonflame, which is good for us as well. Because with Talonflame, we can just go ahead, launch the Poison Fang, get that damage um, increased. Um, we're going to throw another Poison Fang at it here and see if we can get another shield. We are not able to, but we do some great damage. And now we have Thick Brian coming in. Umbreon able to come out um, with her um, head of flowers here and take on this Talonflame. Not a bad matchup for us. We are pretty, pretty good against Talonflame. So we're just going to go ahead and build up to the two foul place we need. Um, hopefully take this thing out. Now our switch timer is a little off, so I have to be a bit careful here, but we'll see what happens, right? Okay, and we do know that they have the Obstagoon in the back. So out comes the first foul play. This will probably get the shield. Um, they don't have enough energy for a move here, so this is going to be a very close game. Um, my opponent makes a great swap there into the Obstagoon. I was kind of anticipating it, um, but, you know, it happens. Now what we want to do is get a little bit of farm on this thing. Um, now that we have both shields, get a little bit of farm on this thing. So we want this thing to throw a move and kill us, right? Okay, here comes the move. Get the Obstagoon to drain its energy. Now we can come in with Needle Queen and just try to build up to the, the winning poison, poison Fang here, right? We get a little bit of a uh, little bit of energy there. And just before that incinerate registers, we are able to get the poison fang off. So that's a good game to our opponent, guys. <laughs> As you guys can see, Shadow Needle Queen cost me a, a ton, <laughs> a ton of uh, stardust ton of XLs, a lot of resources to build. But I'm very excited I get to use a Gen 1 Pokemon um, like Nidoqueen. Queen. Um, now the game's been crashing. <laughs> we just saw a skip there because our game, you'll see it at the end of this video too, the game just crashes. So this is not a good lead. <laughs> so I usually go, um, it depends, usually I go for the Hail Mary, right? I, I'll just launch the Earth Power and hope they don't shield thinking I'm baiting. So um, what I do in future matches after this one is I kind of build up over um, to make it, you know, kind of seem obvious that I'm baiting. But um, yeah, so in this one here, we're just going to throw the uh, Poison Fang, hoping to get a shield. But like I was saying, now I just go for the Hail Mary. <laughs> so I do play it different. Um, okay, cool. So we're going to build up a ton of energy, right? <clears throat> Launch this so that it's a little easier for our back line to handle. Now comes the Poison Fang. See, the Shadow Needle Queen not only does good damage with Poison Fang, but it just is so useful to lower the opponent's stats, right? All right. 
probably an outrage coming in from this Kingdra. Alrighty. I'm sorry, guys. It's hard uh, with my memory for me to remember every game and uh, <laughs> what happened during them. But I do like commentating and kind of talking to you guys through my play style, um, how I play the game. Uh, we have lots of really good players in the Discord, by the way, guys. Uh, join Pogo Science Discord and come in and you know join us for some coaching. You know, with me, uh, Louis Poo, um, K9. It, we have a good time over there. Pogo Science himself, uh, Drew S. So we have an Umbreon, guys, in the back, <laughs> um, which is kind of good because we have a um, an Obstagoon, right? We have an Obstagoon to handle the um, the Mandibuzz, which is kind of nice. So we're gonna do some chip damage here. Get as much chip damage as we can. I I know a lot of people do like to use the. Um, <clears throat> uh mandibus but i really prefer umbreon i i just don't like having the flying weakness <laughs> that's all let's see that's the only difference they're both really good pokemon they both fulfill a similar role but not the same role and um i do actually enjoy having um having uh, umbreon over mandibus now the cool thing here um is that we're we want him to dump his energy onto us right we want to die here that's our that's our goal um, now that we've uh, lowered his defense. Um, okay, so we're going to go for the shield here, it looks like. <laughs> Man, I see, I, I've played these these matches out so many times. We had some nice go battle lag there. I've played these matches out so many times that I play them differently now, um, as opposed to back when I recorded this. But um, normally what I would do is I would just go down there and then bring an obstacle to farm down. But <clears throat> a little bit of lag there, I think, prevented the swap. Um, luckily, we do have Obstagoon, though, so um, this Mandibus is is uh, kind of put in a rough spot. Even though we have very little health left on the um, Umbreon, it's still going to be near impossible for this thing to um, farm <laughs> to farm the Umbreon down without the Umbreon throwing a move. So um, we should be able to close out this match here. Be a very close one, but we should be able to close this one out. I think this one was a win. It's, it's, you know, it's funny. I don't know if you guys do this, if you guys record your own battles and go back and look at them, you know, uh, you know, several days later, and then just recognize how you play them different. Um, I'm happy that I'm able to notice where I'm playing different as I'm commentating for you guys. Uh, that way you guys can play better <laughs> with this team if you guys do decide to build it. I really hope that you guys do uh, do well. So what we're going to do is we're going to store um, where all we need is a um, uh, one more counter. <laughs> to kill to um get to our next move so on the cmp we win it coming back in so we go down with umbreon as i said it's very hard for that thing to snarl down now we can cmp and win the game right um the first uh aerial ace won't kill us and then we just cmp and it should yeah it should be a win nice love to see it love to see it so Umbreon coming in clutch there in the end as well, able to launch that foul play. All good stuff. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but the game keeps just like closing, <laughs> like right at the end of a match or something, right? Whether I win or lose, the game will just close out. Um, it'll close out in the middle of a match sometimes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> and it gets super annoying. Like, I wish Niantic would just fix this game. I'm hyped for Pokemon Unite. I hope you guys are hyped for Pokemon Unite, too. Let's move on to the next battle here, guys. Let's see what we got. And anyway, take my advice for the um, for that matchup against Escav. Generally, it's better just to go for the nuke. So this is a good matchup for us. We like to see that thing. Um... This is okay because now we can just launch the um, the move into this uh, the poison fang into the mandibuzz to lower its defense, which is really going to help out the obstagoon, right? Cool. Obstagoon's such a monster, guys. I do think Scrafty's probably better um, in this in this lineup. I faced the mirror of this team, but with Scrafty in the back, and it is a nightmare. It is an absolute nightmare to play against. So. I hope, um, you know, if you guys can make XL Scrafty, I can't yet. I'm still working on the XLs. It's one of my targets. I'm hatching eggs, doing everything I can. Um, I'll get there eventually, right? Um, that'll be 
one of my next targets is just to get a Scrafty. I think XL Scrafty is very good. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, because it is dark and flying, it's taking neutral damage from these um, counters and from the cross chops. So we are putting in work on this thing. So what I'm doing here is I'm just building up a ton of energy, right? And then I'm going to throw just before he gets to his next move. That way I can threaten the um, uh, the Galvantula uh, with some moves when it comes out, right? So I don't think he's going to shield here, but he is about to get to another Aerial Ace, and I don't want to get farmed down by Galvantula. There we go. So now we have just enough energy and just enough health to prevent this Galvantula from really farming us without having to at least use some shields, right? So out goes the first Night Slash. And here comes the second one. And if he tries to farm us, we should be able to get to a third one here by the looks of it. Judging by our health. Out it comes. Nice. Yeah, we'll get to one. Yep, nice. Just as the killing bolt switch comes in. Obstagoon is so busted, guys. It's it's running through this team right now. <laughs> if they don't have an answer for it, Obstagoon can just run over teams. So now we can just come in with the... Um, Okay, and we're going to do the same thing to the Swampert <laughs> that we did to the, um, the Mandibuzz. So we're just going to lower its defense with the Poison Fang. There we go. And then we just go ahead and bring in our Umbreon. <laughs> and we're a head shields and the opponent concedes the match. So good game to our opponent there. Good stuff. Love to see it. Um, yeah. Um, it's an interesting meta right now. I do think that this team's strong, but it does have weaknesses too, right? Like if they save their Machamp in the back, they don't swap it in, they choose a neutral matchup. If they save a Charmer, <laughs> and they manage to like trap your Nidoqueen in, but they save the Charmer in the back, it'll just sweep through your team, but... Yeah, I should have some losses in this set too, I think. Oh, well, this is tough. Um, winning against a Stunfisk lead is... <laughs> It's a task. Um, I always go directly into my um, Umbreon here just to kind of get as much chip damage in as I can. Umbreon will barely win. <laughs> um, how I like to play the matchup against Stunfisk too is if if I am locked in with one and they're locked in with me, I will shield their first move because it's always an earthquake. And that kind of puts them in panic mode and you can start getting shields with foul plays, which is really cool. It's a neat little like... I don't know, just a little trick I've noticed. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can win this. <laughs> I don't think we can. Um, I think I've tried this matchup before to win it in the one shield, and uh, every time I, I'm about to get to a foul play at the end of it, I always get uh, vine whipped down. <laughs> so I'm kind of learning um, that maybe it's not the best idea. Maybe even Dark Pulse would be a little better in this matchup if they don't shield. However, we're going to go ahead and shield this Frenzy Plant. Um, force him to dump his energy after we throw our moves here. Here it comes. So this will put us like in red health. But we're about to launch two foul plays here. This one. I think he recognizes that we really need switch now too. <laughs> like it's um, imperative that we get switch. And I, don't, I just think our health is just too low to get there. Yeah, I'm always like one turn behind on getting to the next foul play after this. And I always get farmed down. <laughs> right? It just sucks. But there's okay, there's a shield. We got a shield though. That's at least good. But right here, three. Like we would get to that, but we're like one turn behind. It happens every time I'm facing a Venusaur in the one shield. So frustrating. Now I can't swap out here. Um, yeah, <laughs> you guys know that. I can't swap out here. We can start launching these Poison Fangs. Um, just get as much damage in as we can. Gonna have to let it go and try to farm down. <laughs> but I think he's gonna get to the close combat by the looks of it. Leaf Blade comes in. Let the useless Needle Queen go down. Um, yeah, so he gets to a move here. We have to respect the close combat. So we throw the shield up. Just a leaf blade, I should have just let it go. I guess I wasn't counting. <laughs> I just I was just playing bad. Um then he's got like a uh, stun fisk in the back and uh Venusaur with a loaded frenzy plant. So <laughs> this is a good game. 
I knew he had a loaded frenzy plant too and he was going to try to swap. So what I did is I didn't throw my cross chop here. I was trying to catch him mid swap so that he would catch the move onto his Venusaur. But um, yeah, he already he has a shield anyway, so it doesn't really matter right here. But he, he swapped when I was just at the end animation of my, at the end turn, I should say, of my counter. So well played to my opponent. Good job. Tough. It's, it's really tough beating the um, uh, stun fisk leads with this team, guys. <laughs> it is tough. It is possible, though. I've done it. Just oftentimes depends on what they have in the back. It's a good game to our opponent, and quickly moving on to the next game here. Hopefully we don't have to face too much more lag or anything else weird. <laughs> There's been a lot of weird stuff going on in the game. Oh, I hate this. I hate the mirror match, guys. I always fail. And look at that, we had lag. <laughs> so now we're an entire move behind against this guy. So this is going to be an uphill battle here. Especially if it's the team I think it is. <laughs> but we're going to give it our best shot and see how we do. Okay, Earth Power comes in. And we're going to go ahead and launch the Poison Fang at him. Alright. Nice. <laughs> There's a Kingdra. See, I launch a Poison Fang, so I always try to get a shield there. I build up to the, um, the Earth Power and try to get the shield. This is one of those weird games where I'm, I'm looking at how, how am I going to win this? And I'm like, wow, I need to go down two shields and build up a bunch of energy here. <laughs> I knew I knew what I had to do here, and it sucks. So we're going to go ahead and build up a ton of energy. We're going to save the Nido Queen, right? Because I'm, I'm starting to see an end game here where we might win. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we have to farm all the way down here. And we just barely are able to because Obstagoon is a monster. Now we are down two shields, but we have loaded energy on two of our Pokemon, right? So yeah, he's going to go right into that Nido coin, and we are just going to start going ham with Night Slashes. Then we'll see what he has in the back. <laughs> See if we can beat it uh, with two shields. <laughs> Very tough, guys. Very tough. But we'll see, right? We'll see. I think I know what he has in the back, though, right? Yeah, but we, we that's why I'm saving all that energy on the... We get the boost, too. That's kind of janky, but we'll take it. Um, yeah, we, we know what he has in the back. We think it's a it's a fighter. I'm, I'm guessing Obstagoon, right? <laughs> so I'm like, I really need to save my... Uh, this is Scrafty. Uh, he made a nice catch. So we remember, guys, I said Scrafty is the better version of this team. <laughs> and there it is. Um, so what we're doing is we're coming in, and I don't think he realizes how much energy we have <laughs> that we stored off as Kingdra. Because he, for some reason, he lets it go through um, when he has two shields, right? Um, I think he thinks he has this in the bag, but as you're going to see here, he's going to panic now. <laughs> There's the shield, uh, so we did get a shield there. And look at the damage we're doing, guys. Shadow Nido Queen, he has to throw a foul play to kill us, right? So we know we're getting to a third Poison Fang, man. We are just... This Scrafty's in trouble. <laughs> he's in panic mode. Yep. And look at how much damage we do before he gets the foul play. Ridiculous. Oh man, that last uh, poison jab there might have even killed him. I don't know um, if he wasn't able to throw. But he throws a foul play. I'm looking at him like, all right, I'm going to snipe with Goon. <laughs> okay, so we go down. Um, he swaps out so that I can't snipe him with Goon. But this is perfect because he can throw whatever he wants at Thick Brown. Um, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> and we just, uh, we're just we going to farm up the energy we need and throw a last resort at the Scrafty to win this game. There we go. And out comes the Scrafty. I'll throw the last resort. And we somehow <laughs> went down two shields and came back with this team to win just because of the thickness and uh, the spamminess of the team. And the game's going to crash here. Love to see it. Um, there it is. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, guys. I love all of you. And I'm happy to be back making videos. I'll see you guys later. Generation out.